say that he found people worshiping. It doesn't say that he found people fasting. It said he found a widow woman trying to gather some sticks, meaning the, that the world had taken something from her. She was in a place of, she used to have a husband, and she had a son because the Bible says that she had a family. But because she was a widow, she had the title of I used to have something, but now I don't yeah. have it anymore. And so God said, I yes. need somebody to yes. come in a relationship because yes. I'm sending yes. you to the gate yes. to give back to those who used to have something. Yeah. She's a woman of faith because she recognizes who God is of Elijah. Yes, yes. She knows who God is. She knows God, Elijah didn't say nothing to her. And all she had to say was, I will do it because of your God. Amen. There was something about Elijah that she automatically recognized. This is a prophet and a man of God. Yes. Amen. You ain't got to go around telling everybody you're a prophet. You don't have to go around telling everybody you're a Christian. Because if you've been in a place of covenant, yes. all you got to do is walk in the gate. Amen. And people Amen. say, I perceive yes. something is about you. Yes, and I will do as you say because you're not looking to promote new life or you're not looking to promote a name, but I can just sense a covenant relationship Amen. about you. Amen. And so he's there in this place, the gate of the city, and the woman was gathering sticks. And she was getting ready to prepare her last meal and die. She was going to give to her son and partake of herself. But then the word of the Lord came out of the prophet's mouth. And what came out of the prophet's mouth not only brought salvation to her, but it brought salvation to her son, and it brought salvation to her family. The Bible also says that because that she was obedient to what the prophet told her to do, that she then never ran out. That her once once the thing that was lacking in her life was automatically sustaining her now. The thing that she was going to partake of and die, now she's in a place where because of obedience to what the man of God had said, who had been in a covenant place of rest and nourishment, now she's listening to that word, and now that same God that provided for Elijah in covenant is now stretching forth. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. And then from then on, and you can read you can read later. From then on, Elijah did some awesome things. But it all started when he first came on the scene. After a time of preparation, God said, Elijah, I need you to make some covenant with me. Because mm -hmm. I'm about to prepare you for a place that you've never even thought of. I want to do something with your voice and turn a nation. You understand that it was through his voice that the nation, not just a city, a nation got turned back to who God was. It was because of his voice that the prophets of Baal got torn down. It was because of his commitment and his voice that Ahab eventually, Ahab and, and Jezebel were overthrown eventually on down the line. It started. It started with Elijah, though. And I believe we are in a place for this year that God says if we will take these couple of months and we will put ourselves in the brook and stay there. Quit being a hip hopper. One minute you're in, one minute you're out. Right. And then one minute you're, you're on fire for God and the next minute you're barely even knowing who God is. God right. is saying if you will get in a place Amen. and stay there, I will get ready to do some things with your voice. Yeah. How many said I'm willing to do that? Amen. You understand that it takes sac it takes a little bit of sacrifice. I'm not I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but I am going to say as long as you're in a place of this provision will be made. You don't have to fret about your bills. You don't have to fret about your family. You don't have to fret about nothing else. As long as you're in this place right here, God says I'll provide for you. Right. Amen. All the things that we let our mind weigh us down with and the stress and just the weight of everyday life. The Bible says as long as you're in this, I'll provide for you. I'll cause refreshing. I'll cause you to be able to drink because I want you to build your nourishment up because I'm getting ready to do something with your voice. Amen. I want Yvette to come. She's going to share some stuff with you.